If someone had to ask you, what's a perfect laptop for a student? What do you think your answer might be? I was asked that question earlier in the year. And after searching, I came up with the Lenovo V15, which is a powerful laptop having an i3 11th gen, and I've upgraded it to eight gigs of RAM. And when I asked the student, what do they think of the laptop? They had no complaints and didn't know what to tell me. So let's check it out. So this is the Lenovo V15. So this is actually quite an interesting laptop and I mean it's just one of Lenovo blanket variants and I mean they've produced it for a very long time with different generation CPUs and even different brands of CPUs. But it's a well trusted machine to do the constant work that we need it to. In terms of its technical specs, as a processor, it has an Intel Core i3 1 5G4 processor which is a dual core four thread processor which can be clocked at up to 4.1 gigahertz in terms of ram it comes in many different configurations so this came with four gigs but i upgraded it to eight gigs and the memory itself is ddr4 which is clocked at 3200 megahertz for graphics it has intel's integrated uhd graphics and in terms of storage um, this version has 256 gigabytes of SSD M.2 memory running at PCIe 3.0. The dimensions of this laptop, it is 35 centimeters by 23 centimeters by 2 centimeters. And in terms of the body design, it's PCB ABS plastic on the top and the bottom. In terms of weight, this laptop weighs 1.7 kilograms. I mean, it's not the lightest but I mean it's, it's fairly light on the the scale of weights um, for a screen is running a 15.6 inch full HD running at 250 nit brightness and in terms of battery and power it has a 38 watt hour battery powered by a 65 watt charger in terms of ports it has a built-in rj45 or ethernet port one usb 2.0 port it has one usb 3.2 gen 1 port it has one usb c 3.2 gen 1 which supports data transfer only it has a 4.1 hdmi port well it has a headphone mic combo jack as well as the power connector and i mean for a student that's more or less everything that you need in terms of connectivity it has Wi-Fi in the 802.11 AC in a 2x2 configuration it runs Bluetooth 5.0 and the keyboard is a full keyboard because obviously this is a 16 inch laptop we have a full keyboard the keys are quite soft it's not noisy keys the actual technical specs of the keys I'm not too sure about but the keys they soft they work it's not something that's gonna break over time so as a student typing your documents and everything I think it's gonna work perfect so in terms of the body right this has something similar to the 180 degree lay flat hinge that we see in the Asus laptops but for some reason this isn't quite sitting right with me <laughs> pun intended but anyway other than the the lay hinge um, in terms of cooling it has a intake which is in the hinge and the the exhaust which is underneath the laptop and then you can see there's a little bit of a kickstand or like a raised bit here with the silicone feet that um, keeps it above so that the exhaust heat is blowing out but in terms of cooling I mean it doesn't have any cooling issues that we've noticed I mean whether it's streaming movies or whether it's actually doing any work it gets the job done so that brings us now to who is this based towards and in terms of who is this based towards right although i am saying it's based or we thinking of it for a student i mean granted our student isn't a com science or an it student that it's being pushed to its full potential but i mean every student out there isn't a com science and an it student that they're going to need to really hammer the laptop so whether you're a bio student whether you're a engineering student i mean this laptop will get you through it and besides just being a student right the lenovo v15 has been a constant model throughout the years as processors have changed they've changed the, the components of the laptop but the performance has more or less stayed consistent throughout the years 
And with that being said, I mean, it's not just based for students. I think this might fit quite a few different people other than our student. Whether you're running your own business, whether you're just some guy that needs a laptop to check his mail and do some extra activities on the web or whatever, I'm sure this laptop will get you there comfortably. Now that brings us to what this laptop costs. Right, the laptop is currently retailing for 7,400 Rand on takealot.com and we've seen it retailing on EveTech for about 8,000 Rand. And this is iron gray, the version that it's available in, right? So back to this price point now. It isn't the cheapest, but I think in the way that the market is going, 2,000, 3,000, a little bit of 4,000 Rand laptops are mostly Celeron, Pentiums, Duke, and the problem with that is they are slow. I mean, even with the advancement of Google Chrome, opening three or four tabs might just slow down a Celeron nowadays. But I stand to be corrected. I haven't tested out any of the new Celerons in the market recently. So maybe I stand to be corrected because I mean, I'm running an i5 at my desk. This is an i3. Most of my other laptops throughout the years have always been Celerons and Pentiums. So I can attest to the slowness and the, the, the pull out your hair with the frustration of it being slow, it being crashing. So it's kind of bittersweet, but I mean, it's a decent point in the market in retrospect of everything. So I think for this price point, it is quite an undervalued laptop. So I think that's why I lean towards it much, much more because when we were looking, I mean, I did see um, i7s and uh, whatnot that were like 8,000 and 9,000, but those i7s were actually uh, older generations. They were like compared to this eighth or ninth gen i7 that was more than what this new i3 was clocking or was costing. But anyway, that was my whole rant about who it's about for and what is the price. All in all, I mean, this laptop's been performing well, watching Netflix, getting assessments done, completing tasks work online and I mean there's no problem with the battery life no problem with it being slow or anything so on EveTech I know they have different configurations different versions of the CPU whether you want Intel whether you want AMD what storage and RAM configuration they have many different versions for many different price points but as I said when I was going in my rant it's a constant version so that means it's definitely working for Lenovo they're mid-tier so it's carrying them over over the years and I mean if you're looking for something I'd suggest it but yeah guys I mean let me know what you think about this laptop if you have your own or if you think you're buying one and yeah just let us know what you think about it guys thank you very much for watching my name is Prashan if you do have any questions regarding this laptop or anything you'd like to know you can leave a comment down in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos guys thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next video